Hello, beautiful kindred souls, and welcome to my spiritual oasis here where I souls come to find inner wisdom and peace. We are doing a yes or no pick a card reading um, for each of the zodiac signs today. These are going to be um, quick messages. Um, they will not be um, clarified unless you get a maybe card in there. Um, only the messages that are on the card or that I am channeling through spirit will I share. Um, I said that like Yoda for some reason. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so I will be doing a yes or no for each zodiac sign. So you can pick based off of your sun, moon, rising. You can watch all three. Um, if you're asking like a love question, you might want to do your, you know, your moon, Venus, Mars or something like that. So switch it up, go with the flow, or maybe you're just being pulled to a card, uh, whether or not you have those placements in your chart. So just kind of vibe it out and um yeah let your intuition guide you overall before we get into the groups though i would like to invite you to join the kindred family here by subscribing to my youtube channel click like on the video if you like these types of videos and you want to see more of this type of content drop a comment down below let me know which group or groups you selected um if you're interested in your own personal reading you can connect me on etsy link is in the description i also um, post all different other types of content on Etsy as well. So check that out if you're interested. Yeah, so that's my little intro, I suppose. And so, yeah, I would say, of course, you know what type of question that you're coming with. So you can, you know, select one group and just use that singular answer. For example, maybe I'm asking a question around creativity. So I might ask, a, ask a, I might look at my son sign and I use um, I personally use side real placements so I would look at Scorpio because my son is in Scorpio and maybe that's all the answer I need um, but maybe I'm asking a really complex say love question so I might look at my moon Venus Mars and so that would be uh, Sagittarius Pisces and Libra. So those might be the three groups that I look at. And then I take those messages and see if there's overlapping, see if they're all yeses, maybe they're all no's, maybe there's some sort of a blend, um, but just kind of using that like triangulating um, to get a final answer. So switch it up, you know your question. Um, so you'll be the best one obviously to select the group or maybe i'm just feeling really called to virgo whatever for whatever reason that pile is just really speaking to me i might pick that one so there are many different ways to go about this um so feel free to do it any kind of way that you want and shake it up a little bit too it might help you find different ways to um you know develop ways to pick a card for other readings as well so all righty we're gonna go ahead and pop into the groups today. So we're gonna be starting with Aries and going down to Pisces. The timestamps will be in the description below so you can always skip to the ones that are applicable to you. All right, beautiful soul, I will see you in your message. Pause the video if you need a moment and I'll see you in your message. Hello Aries and welcome to your yes or no reading. So we're gonna go ahead and flip over. The answer to your yes or no question is a yes. It says permission granted. Why do you need someone else's permission? Especially as an Aries. <laughs> when have you ever asked for anybody's permission, Aries? Um, no, I know that we all sometimes have difficulty making decisions, but anyway, so this is an affirmative response and I feel like really asking yourself the question like why do you need someone else's permission why are you looking for clarification are there legit there might be legitimate things you know in this situation whatever you're asking about that um, are causing you to pause or causing you to hesitate so really dive into those things and see if they have merit and see if you know you know seeing if that final the final um, decision that you make needs to be altered or tweaked or maybe you need more information or maybe you need to set some boundaries or whatever it might be you might have to tweak it it might not just be a straight up yes it might be a yes if 
these things are covered or if I get answers to this or something, you know. So really ask yourself that question and um, make sure that, you know, ultimately make sure that the answer or that the um, situation is going to be beneficial for you. All right, Aries, that was the answer to your yes or no question today. I hope this was helpful. Drop a comment down below and I'll see you in an upcoming reading. Bye. Hello, Taurus, and welcome to your yes or no reading. So the answer to your yes or no question, Taurus, is, of course, a maybe. So it says it's possible. We're going to go ahead and clarify with tarot. What would make this a yes? What would make the answer to Taurus's question a yes? What would make it a yes? Okay, so I feel like it's a yes if the question was was connected to or related to um, bossing up in your world of your career world or your just physical tangible world. So think like job promotion, taking an opportunity that's going to bring you long term success. Um, I feel like things connected to increase in money, increase in finances, um, um, any questions connected to health and wellness, like improving that would be a yes. Um, maybe you asked a question about someone who has strong earth sign placements. So I feel like if you came here asking a question about someone, if they have strong earth sign placements in their chart, um, if they're like a boss <laughs> in their, you know, in their realm or in their world and they um, have good finances and are good at like managing money. So when I think of the King of Pentacles, I don't only think of having money. I think of hard work. I think of effort, diligence, patience, um, someone who understands what it means to do the work but they're at a position now in their life where they're not necessarily doing the work so think about it thinking about it that way too this person's going to be mature they're going to um be the type that like holds the, they hold the vision of like prosperity and abundance in their heart and mind so anything that that could either be energy that you're being encouraged to invoke so if you're saying yes to something that's encouraging you to invoke that energy of patience diligence hard work effort um you know just like taking that you know holding the vision of your prosperity wealth and abundance um and and just you know figuring out how to get that done as well like getting the resources and it, you know people in your corner and all of that stuff that you need um to do that to make that come to fruition any questions about abundance um yeah income money um mature maturity over your money i would say as well that sounded weird the way i said that but like managing your money budgeting saving um buying that house right like saving up a down payment to like buy a house or anything that's going to be connected to stability or you being more stable or encouraging stability um, I feel like there could also be some things around like pleasure and enjoying the efforts of your labor, but not going beyond your, you know, your limitations. So we're not overspending, but we might be indulging a little bit and enjoying um, the efforts of our hard work as well. So lots of different messages that could have came through for that. And I hope that clarified um, what you were asking or helped you make that decision so Taurus these are the messages that I have channeled for you today I hope this was helpful if something resonated do drop a comment down below and I'll see you in an upcoming reading bye hello Gemini welcome to your yes or no reading I'm trying to peel you out from the rest of the cards here okay so the answer to your yes or no question, Gemini, is a yes. It says, fine. 
is there a better use of your time? So again, the answer to your yes or no question is a yes. And if that's all you need to hear, then thank you for joining me. But I feel like with this card, there's always like a moment where you're being encouraged to think things, think things through a little bit more because saying fine to something or saying okay is agreement yes it is agreement but it's not very it's not very like all in it's kind of like because i have nothing better to do fine i'll do that or it's almost like agreeing begrudgedly so i feel like there's a question around are you saying yes to something simply because you feel like you have nothing else to put in that time slot or you're bored right now or you know someone asked you and so you're just agreeing to it or is it something that if you had a full schedule you would make a way for it if you could if you could say yes to that that you would make a way for it then i would say it's an affirmative I've, if the other way around and you're just kind of saying it you're saying you're yes or you're agreeing because you have a little time or because whatever you're bored right now or whatever the case may be i would say give it some thought and ask yourself is there a better use of your time could you be doing something else in that time slot i feel like there's really just a message around doing things and spending time on things that are meaningful to you that you're passionate about that you're excited about that you're interested in that you truly want to do that you truly want to spend that time on that time doing so these are the messages i have for you gemini um just like thinking that through a little bit you are a thinker <laughs> so thinking that through a little bit and determining whether or not it's something you truly want and maybe the answer to that is yes and if it is awesome like go for it oh i just feel like there's a message around making sure that you're spending your time as if your time was money because it is your time or your time is money your time is valuable do it as if your time is valuable and that's um because your time is valuable it's finite meaning that you don't have an endless amount of time which we all know we're all mortal and so we know that eventually one day our time at least in this existence will end um so make sure that you're spending your time wisely and you're being thoughtful about your time and you're not just kind of agreeing or flitting it away because you can in quotation marks okay so gemini these are the messages i have for you i hope this is helpful drop a comment down below if something resonated and i'll see you in an upcoming reading bye hello cancer welcome to your yes or no reading okay so the answer to your yes or no question cancer is a no it says not this time I have the message here that some of you already felt this answer some of you already felt that the timing on whatever it is that you're asking just wasn't quite right and so the message if that resonates with you the message i have for you is trust your intuition trust your instinct trust your feelings because you are an intuitive sign emotive intelligence intuition intuitive intelligence that is something that probably comes more naturally more easily for you cancer okay um because you are in a, a water sign so yeah that's what, what i'm feeling now not this time and it implies that this opportunity situation or something very similar to it is going to eventually come around again and at that point in time you'll be able to say yes potentially to it but right now we're just we're not adding anything new we're we're um you know focusing on other things probably home family um i'm getting the message that some of you might be focusing on your own spiritual experience and your own spiritual growth so we're just not taking on anything outside of those kind of um more close to home sorts of topics and energies so my beautiful cancers this is the message that i have for you today i hope this was helpful if something resonated do drop a comment down below click like and subscribe and i will see you in an upcoming message bye hello leo welcome to your yes or no reading i'm gonna go ahead and slide you out okay so we have 
the answer to your yes or no question leo is a no it says perhaps when things clear up so there's a suggestion here that your plate your calendar is already full your plate your calendar is already full so i definitely feel like whatever you asked if it's about adding something new that you know not this time um you have you have things already on your plate that you need to focus your energy on i'm also getting a message around focusing your energy that you're there are there are, are already things that you need to focus your energy on and um you know like picking or selecting one or a couple of those things to really pour your energy into and leaving the rest for another day if you're feeling anxious about what to decide what to decide to do i feel like there's a message around the fact that you can do many many things in your lifetime you have a lot of life to live you know spirit god universe willing etc majority of people have a lot of life to live and so there's an idea around um you know just understanding that everything might not be able to happen at once at once but it can happen so choosing a thing or two to start with and then adding things in at a later time when those other things have kind of gotten to a point where they can coast or they require minimal effort um which i feel like leo's pretty good at um focusing energy so yeah leo that's the message that i had for you today i hope this was helpful. If something resonated, do drop a comment down below. Click like and subscribe, and I will see you in an upcoming reading. Bye. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your yes or no. Let's go ahead and snatch up. Okay. So the answer to your yes or no question is a yes. It says naturally. Are you trying to make this fit or does it flow into your purpose and direction? So make sure that you're saying yes to anything that is a natural fit into your life right now and that you're not going out of your way or stretching things or forcing other things into a difficult situation in order to say yes. Saying no, Virgo, is um, okay. Saying no is okay, but just making sure that you're only saying yes to things that are fitting naturally into your life and your path and purpose and direction and all of that stuff at your current point in time. All right, Virgo, short and sweet. That was the message that I had channeled for you today. I hope this was helpful. Drop a comment down below. If something resonated, click like and subscribe, and I'll see you in an upcoming reading. Bye. Hello Libra, welcome to your yes or no reading. The answer to your yes or no question is a no. Limit your commitments. Really don't think this needs any clarification. So if you're asking any questions about something that you're adding into your repertoire of things to do, I feel like we're holding off for now. Um, there might be something coming towards you that you need room to be able to fit it in. Um, it might just be about you balancing, like the universe helping you balance by not adding anything additional. Um, I feel like there's also messages potentially around balancing out yourself and your needs with um, the needs of others, your community, your family, whatever it is. So. We're not adding in anything new. That's the message I have for you, Libra. Hope this was helpful. Drop a comment down below. Click like and subscribe. And I will see you in an upcoming reading. Bye. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your yes or no reading. So the answer to your yes or no question is a yes. It says, why not? Whenever this response turns up i feel like it's always wanting you to ask your, yourself this question so obviously you came here with a should i do this or should i not do this or should i say yes to this or should i say no to this and so spirit wants you to think like why wouldn't you L like 
write down the reasons why you should not. Why are you hesitating? Why is this even a question? Um, and then analyze those, um, analyze the responses and see if they align, if they make sense um, with what you're trying to do, with your path and purpose, all that sort of stuff. If it's going to help or hinder you. Um, so you're really asking yourself these questions and really trying to get down to some legitimate answers um, for yourself. So Scorpio, these are the messages I had for you. I hope this was helpful. Drop a comment down below if something resonated. Click like and subscribe and I will see you in an upcoming reading. Bye. Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your yes or no reading. Let's peel you out here. So the answer to your yes or no question is a yes. It says of course. If this is in alignment with your life's path and direction. So making sure that you're saying yes to things and only saying yes to things that are in alignment with your life's path and direction, which first implies that you need to know your life's path and direction. So the first step, if you're raising an eyebrow um, around this card, is to get in alignment with your path and direction. So if you are looking to astrology for some tips on how to discover this, um, this is actually one of the most popular readings on my Etsy shop but um, and that I've done for four kindreds in the past is to figure out what you're meant to do in this life, right? I feel like that's kind of a common question that a lot of people ask and often we ask it at different points in our life because we evolve as individuals and our path and direction might tweak or change or flow in a different direction. So if you were looking to astrology, I would look at of course, your sun moon rising energy. So your dynamic trio is what I call it. Then I would look at your Venus. So where is Venus in your birth chart? What sign is it in? And does it have any, you know, primary aspects or relationships with other planets? What sign is in your fifth house? And where is your sun sign? And kind of looking at the triangulation of those energies. Um, some other things to look at is Saturn. Because Saturn talks about the challenges in life and often Saturn lessons result in abundance after you've learned the lesson. Um, I would look at your North Node um, as well. North Node talks about um, soul growth. So it's like your soul is magnetically drawn to that North Node energy because that is the lesson that your soul needs to learn in this um, incarnation of itself. So I would look at your North Node. I would look at Saturn. Um, I would look at um, Venus and the fifth house. So those are kind of the bigger, bigger things I'd look at for you if I were doing a reading for you. So my beautiful Sagittarius says, this is the message that I had for you today. I hope this was helpful for you. If something resonated, do drop a comment down below. Click like and subscribe and I will see you in an upcoming reading. Bye. Hello Capricorn, welcome to your yes or no reading. Let's go ahead and get your message. Okay, so the answer to your yes or no question is a yes. It says willingly, only if it's what you are willing to do. So Capricorn, you are a willful, willful energy already. Your earth, you know, cardinal earth, you're driven. Um, you're an initiator, you're a pusher, you know, being represented by the goat, you will climb the steepest of mountains to reach whatever you're going after, right? There's a tenacious energy, a willful energy to Capricorn. So I feel like this question is saying, making sure that you're only saying yes to things, that you are willing to put your energy, your time, your resources, your diligence, your tenacity behind. So I feel like there's an underlying message around saying yes to things that you're passionate about, saying yes to things that are in alignment with your path and your purpose and direction in life, and kind of allowing the other things to fall where they may um, outside of your, your realm. So making sure that whatever you ask today, that you're saying yes to it if it is something that you are willing to do, something that you want to do, that you're passionate about, that you're going to put your efforts, all of your effort, resources, and energy into, okay? So we're not half, half-butting things, um, half-acing, 
half-facing things, um, which is not really a Capricorn trait anyway. But I realize that we as individuals are a dynamic mix of the different signs. So I feel like there's a message again around only saying yes to things that you are willing to put your kind of full effort, full energy into. So if your plate is full, you're not going to be able to put your full energy into something new. So thinking about it that way as well. So Capricorn, these are the messages that I've channeled for you today. I hope this was helpful. If something resonated, drop a comment down below. Click like and subscribe and I'll see you in an upcoming reading. Bye. Hello Aquarius and welcome to your yes or no readings. Let's go ahead get the answer to your yes or no question is a yes so it says it's an affirmative so you're saying yes to things that are supportive hopeful and encouraging you know Aquarius is connected to the star in tarot so I feel like you know, you're saying yes to things that are, I would say things that, yeah, things that are supportive of you and or those that are really close to you, but primarily of you. I feel like it's things that are supportive to you, your path, your purpose, your direction. Things that are going to help you get to your final destination, whatever that is. Um, saying yes to things that are encouraging and um, hopeful and optimistic and positive again positive in the direction of your path and your purpose so yeah those are the messages I had for you today Aquarius I hope that this reading was helpful for you. If something resonated, drop a comment down below. Click like and subscribe, and I'll see you in an upcoming reading. Bye. Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your yes or no reading. <laughs> so the answer to your yes or no question is a yes. It says, by all means, you must be willing to tap into all resources at your disposal. Is it worth it? So, you know... Pisces energy can be very soft, empathetic, gentle, accommodating, mutable water. And so I feel like there's just really a question around this idea of worth, this idea of whatever you're asking, saying yes to whatever you're asking, is it going to be worth giving, you know, basically sacrificing? This by all means to me is kind of like, is a card about sacrifice all means means that we're not giving a little bit here sprinkle sprinkle whatever's extra you are giving something essential to whatever this is and even though the question you asked might not be that serious you might be like mm, it wasn't that deep yo i feel like this is the message the overall message oftentimes we waste time we waste time because we determine that something isn't that bad or it's not going to take that long to do this or whatever so we kind of frit away a minute here a minute there 10 minutes 30 minutes an hour but all of that adds up so i feel like it's it's, it's almost like if you were thinking about your time as if it were your money if it if, as if it were currency and a lot of times we don't think of our time that way. So I feel like thinking of your time, even if it's five minutes, thinking of it like it's five dollars. Like, would you spend five dollars on that thing? You know, would you spend five hundred dollars? Would you even spend five thousand dollars? Like, just really asking yourself, if I had a full schedule, if I had something else during the same time slot as this thing would i still make it happen would i still do it would i still figure out a way to make it happen because if you would say yes to that it's probably worth it because it is you know you're willing to go out of your way you're willing to sacrifice you're willing to um you know do whatever it takes to make that thing happen and if you would say well no no if i had something else scheduled i really wouldn't make the effort to do that then you shouldn't be wasting your time doing it 
anyway, if that makes any sense. So potentially this was meandering off the path but of your question, but I feel like this message is really important as you're making decisions just in general, um, moving forward in your life and making sure that you're filling your days and your weeks and your months with things that are pushing you towards your path and purpose, you know? Um, and that's not to say that, you know, I feel like things that are on our path are like all of the things, right? Family, friends, love, partnership, career, business, spirituality. Like there's there's all of those different things that are on our path and purpose. So I'm not saying forget about your friends or never do anything for anyone. What I am saying is that you're making sure that things are in alignment and that they're on the way and that you're not always taking detours for someone or something else. So Pisces, these are the messages that I have channeled for you today. I hope this was helpful. Drop a comment down below if something resonates. Click like and subscribe and I will see you in an upcoming reading. Bye.